Back From War is basically directed to all the guys that were trying to like play me but ended up coming back in the end. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding at all, but. <laughs> It was written by Young Berg and Lyrica Anderson, who are amazing, and um, a couple other people wrote on the record as well, too. When I heard the song, I instantly just like fell in love with it because it was exactly what I was going through at the time, and I felt like a lot of girls, like a lot of my friends were also going through the same thing, too, and so I'm just like, this makes so much sense for me to just put this out to the world, like, every, like you need to hear this, because it's not a sad song. It's basically just letting you know, girl, like, keep doing you, because at the end of the day, like, they're gonna come back. Maybe it wasn't who you wanted to come back, but someone will. <laughs>well, I actually didn't get to be in the studio with Jeremiah, but we were communicating through like our teams and it was pretty awesome. He did it like really quick too. <laughs> I love his voice. He's an amazing artist, amazing singer. His melodies, he added some stuff to it as well too. And so it made the song pop because there was always supposed to be a guy singing on the hook and I felt like his voice and my voice meshed really well together, so that's why I went for Gemma. It's very different. The sound is very different than what you may have heard from me. It's a little more like aggressive because at this point in my life, I'm basically done with these guys. <laughs> like, I'm done. I'm done with the excuses, done with the trying to make excuses for you. It's more about just like me realizing, like and just being okay with that, being okay with myself and not being, it's everything that I've wanted to say that I don't know how to say, and so I put it in these songs. My tone is different. I'm like rapping a little bit on some songs. I worked with Party Next Door a lot too on this, and he pushed my tone into a part that I was like kind of uncomfortable with because I didn't want to sound dumb but he was very, very supportive and very encouraging, and it's actually one of the most popping songs on the album, so. A lot of people couldn't really tell like where I was from. A lot of people thought I was from LA, which is understandable because that's where like I went to start recording a lot of my music and that's like where like the, a lot of producers are, songwriters and where like the more creative side of the industry is and New York is like where the hustle bustle grimy like part of it is but this project definitely gets rid of that whole idea. I had to take a step back and be like all right these are my roots this is where I'm from this is the sound that I come from this is this is just who I am this is how I feel. As a young girl, not even as a young black girl, but as a female in general, everyone like looks up to Beyonce. Like she's like the epitome of entertainer in all aspects. She doesn't sleep. It doesn't matter what's happening. Like she's always focused, always ten steps ahead of everyone. And I feel like she's the prime example to look up to when it comes to a performer and entertainer. I don't want to sound like cliche, but Beyonce is like one of my hugest idols. I would say that if you're having problems with your relationship, girl, come to me, because I got you, I feel you. And there's definitely a song, or many songs of mine, that you will be able to relate to and just realize that you're not alone. That's what music is all about as an artist. A lot of people like feel like they're alone, and even artists like feel like we're alone too, and then once we put all of our emotions into a song and we see people's like reaction to it, we're like, oh sh shit, like, we're not alone. Like, a lot of people feel exactly what I do, and that's what I, how I feel when I listen to other artists' music. I'm just like, man, how do they know exactly what I was thinking? Like they're speaking for me, saying things that I didn't even I didn't even know I felt this way, and now I do because you've said it in the song. When I was younger, I really wanted to dye my hair, and my favorite color at the time was green. And my mom wouldn't let me dye my hair green. So I was like, all right, what about purple? Because it was like a darker, it's one of the darker colors. It wasn't that crazy. So she was like, yeah, sure, fine, whatever. So like we started with like the tips of my hair and then like every time I went to get my hair done, it would just get more and more and more purple until like there was nothing she could do about it. It started to become a part of just who I am. And people started to be like, hey, the girl with the purple hair. And now they're like, Justine's guy with the purple hair. And now they're like, when people see purple, they're like, oh, it has something to do with Justine's guy. It's like, it kind of like naturally just, happened. God just put purple in my world. I actually hated the color purple. I wouldn't wear it. I didn't want to touch it. I didn't want to see it. And then I was just like, wait, this looks good on me.
thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.